everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be checking out uh, Next Up in Jorvik for the month of January. So, I'm excited for this month. It seems exciting. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say right now. Anyways, we have some amazing content coming up for you guys over the next month. Take a sneak peek at the exciting things on their way to Jorvik. Kickstart the year with Horses of Jorvik. January 11th. Whatever his name is, is back with this time, and this time with his show jumping race at Stars. I can't English today. I just, I can't, I can't. Anyways, he is back, and this time with his show jumping race at Jorvik Stables Arena. Bring out your sporty horses, Belgian Warmblood, Trickhainer, and Jorvik Warmblood. And let them show off their jumping skills. New color variations and story snack with a twist. January 18th. Four different breeds are coming out with six new colors, which will be the first friend of the new year to join your stable. Lisa and Linda must take care for the sapling you planted in the forgotten fields. A bit of magical gardening isn't needed these coming four weeks to help it start growing be a journalist for your gazette january 25th ready to meet a new friend imagine the journalist and their trusty mayor i don't know her name have come to have come to your in the hopes of starting a newspaper let's work together to put out the first edition of the Orvik gazette while you're at it, you can show off your new clothes and horse gear. Do you like yellow or do you prefer the classic whites? Steve Paddock, Steve's Paddock is, is the place to be, February 1st. Are you and your horse up for a new training challenge? Tie? I don't know. A new face in town. Notice that Steve's Paddock is perfect for gym gymnastics jumping exercises. These exercises are perfect for you and your horse to master your races. We all know you love spending time at Steve's farm. Luckily, Steve has noticed it too. He's added props to use in his paddock for your training or riding classes. Plus, magical horse rotation, Aranais and Petra. I don't know. So, this is week one, which we already have. Why is this up? I don't know. This is week two. We have a Tennessee Walker walker tennessee walking horse week three we have some billboard i think in jorvik um in jarlheim yeah that's what it is and then we have week four here i believe mr sands is actually on this and if you guys don't remember but i did start some legacy series um a while back on my channel and episode two was about linda and Linda had to make a Jorvik Gazette for her school. So, I'm wondering if it'll be something like this, but at the same time, it does say, like, the first time or something, right? It says, um, let's work together to put out the first edition of the Jorvik Gazette. So, I don't think it's going to connect back to... Starshine Legacy. It would be cool if it did, but then again, they rewrote the history for the uh, Soul Riders. So, yeah, I don't think so. Um, I'm not going to be making a video about the first week because I already did the race and it's not really big, but I will be doing the update next week. So, stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, it was just Horses of Jorvik, really, and there's a discount on the Trikaner and the Jorvik Warmblood, so, yeah, exciting. Yeah, that's it. Actually, let's head to the game. I actually, I'm just gonna show you the racing game. Let's do that. Why not, right? Okay, I have it open. Here is the race. You get 500 horse XP, which is amazing. I think a lot of people are doing it on their Belgian warm blood because it's the Belgian warm blood, obviously. Although I do think someone's on the starter horse back there. So, yeah. But it's a really fun race. I'm usually really good at it. I don't know what it is today. My keyboard's in a weird position, actually. That's what it is. 
there we go. Let's let's try this again. Yeah. We're gonna we're trying this again. But I've been riding five. I've been training five because I really wanna I'm gonna train all my Belgian warm bloods while this race is out. That way I can use this race as much as I can. And then I'll train my other horses. I do think I'm gonna be doing selling shopping. Uh, God, I think I'm gonna be doing a selling horse video because there's some horses I don't like. My game is glitching so bad right now. It's lagging. Jeez, I'm moving my microphone back so I have a better, better, oh my God, a better handle on my keyboard. I'm usually not this bad at this race, guys. My game is just glitching. I think it might be because I have my my uh, my filming app on my screen recorder app, whatever it's called. Yeah, on. Um, so it's really it's not it being a butt about this. It's not it's not wanting to be filmed right now, but it's fine. We got it working no it's not never mind i just jinxed it i just ran completely into that jump god i'm doing so bad on this race yeah but yeah i think i'm gonna be doing a selling horse video i don't want comments in i don't want comments on that video saying oh don't sell your horses because you spend star coins on them yeah i know but i'm never gonna ride them so what's the point of having them I just feel like I'm going to train them, but then I'm never going to want to train them. So it's better if I just sell the horses that I'm never going to ride or I don't like anymore, even though I bought them. Because I just see that as like a waste of the little thing in my head saying, oh, you need to train them, but I don't want to train them. So, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, that is it for today's video.